YouTube, my name is Craftman780 and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Today will be episode 4 of my Let's Play. So as y'all can see here, we've certainly done a little bit of work. All the way back over there, 10k's out, we moved all the stuff from the old base over to this new base, our new location. I have also decided to build next to the ice lake. And over there I'll just build a drilling derrick soon. So, we've got a refinery with two speed modules, one power efficiency, and the assembler with one speed module and one of power efficiency, and a battery up there. And you may have noticed this here. This here is my little to-do list that I made. So first thing we're going to need is a hangar for ship storage. Of course, a front door, because we don't want to live on a platform for the rest of our lives. Uh, welder and grinder ship, uh, solar tower or wind farm for power generation, and a battery array for more power storage. So that single battery really isn't going to cut it. And if I head into here and type in battery, for the miner it's recharged in 6 hours, the base battery is recharged in 5. So we'll actually leave those to charge. And let's also do that. Turn the batteries on the miner off and recharge our energy and hydrogen and whatnot. And there we go. So I also did a little bit of mining off camera. So we're getting a lot of uh, nickel and silicon. We already have a whole bunch of iron. We've got 40,000. That's way more than what we need. So what we're going to need is a medium cargo container we're gonna need some conveyor tubes actually no what I'll do is get all this on the other toolbar here so medium cargo container conveyor tubes uh, a junction for sure the single junction actually that's both. Yeah, that guy there is all the tube junction and whatnot. So there's that. Let's go ahead and get everything set up. Uh, we're obviously going to need a cockpit. going to need gyroscopes. going to need welders and grinders. So welder, grinders, Get two of each. There we go. We're going to need the, a single medium cargo container, two conveyor tubes, okay so those are the same. We're going to need a conveyor junction. And that should be everything for now. The reason why you guys just heard that is because this thing is actually turned off. Or no, it's turned on, we just don't have enough power for it. So... Let's go ahead and kind of just organize this a little bit. And y'all will keep hearing this thing power up and down as I'm organizing this, which is a bit annoying. But... just to see all of what we need and we of course have everything for it which is nice just getting a whole bunch of steel plates construction components motors and whatnot and there we go so that's all we need now what we'll do is actually just turn the refinery off for a moment uh, as well as clear this build planner get everything else we need we need a cockpit we need uh, two small gyros, not a parachute, small gyros, there we go, go ahead and just pop everything in there, of course organize everything, need a bunch of stuff. 
stuff. But luckily we have everything for it. And there we go, that's all we need. So... Got that, we got the gyros, we got the grinder, welder, medium conveyor, thrusters of course, we need those. What we're actually going to do is grab two small grid large atmospherics, a few small grid small thrusters, uh, but let's actually just put those in there now, just to organize everything. some motors and there we go so there's most of it we don't have the nickel or the cobalt at the moment so what we'll do is again clear the build planner uh, let's see we have the nickel and silicon processing so what we need is 391 nickel and 16 cobalt so the nickel will be done in just a moment. What we're going to do is pop that in there. We, of course, have the silicon for it, which is great. Good thing I got these um, speed modules up and running. So that'll take a bit. What we're going to need to do is go mining for some cobalt, uh, which should be easy enough to find, considering I have a cobalt mine set up. And it's just over there. 10k's out. Uh, wait, let's see. Let's actually turn on the refinery, or no, the refinery, the, not refinery, assembler. The assembler is on. Um, let's turn that off. What we're going to do is actually turn off the refinery for the moment. Grab everything out of here. Just see that we almost have the nickel 365 let's just process a little more so that'll of course turn off let's recharge everything don't need that guy on oops don't pause the game there we go so we're gonna need all this stuff here just all that uh need 70, 80, 90, about 30 more nickel. Oh yeah, we have way more than enough now, so let's turn that guy off. Boom, pop everything in there. We need the cobalt now. So what we'll do... Let's actually just pop everything in the ship. And check the... Batteries of the miner. Uh, yeah, no. Um, uh, I don't know, it might be enough just to get a little bit of cobalt, so this is uh, pretty stupid, but I'm going to risk this, so I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back, so what I'm going to do is of course just dock up. Uh, make sure I don't hit anything or the ground. That would be bad. Nope, wrong way. And there we go. So now everything should be, be being pulled out. Yeah, there we go. So there's the nickel and the cobalt we just mined turn this guy back on get the stone out of the way then cobalt's next in line and then silicon and nickel so this is all it can produce uh wow we literally just need five cobalt okay and there we go we have way more than enough so this thing will start 
or complete its little mission of doing everything, and there we go, it's all done. So, just pop everything in there, uh, put the gravel in there. So what we're going to need is a cockpit, a conveyor junction, almost forgot that. Uh, no wait, that is this. We're going to need two of those, one of those. Oops. Oh, great, I gotta start over. Okay, so two of these, one of those, one of those, two of those, one of those, two of these, and the large atmospheric thrusters. So seven, those are the small grids. Two of those are, well, one, because that's all we need, well, can have on us at the moment. Uh, damn, I forgot a landing gear. So we'll need something like one more steel plate, or, you know, maybe six of them. So something like seven. Yeah, of course, the, ooh, the small grid. Uh, let's go ahead and build it over here. Oop, there's that, so that locks down. Uh, grab the, or just get that out of here. Grab the steel block. Build up a little bit. How many do I have? Seven. Not that I really need that much. There's that. Uh, batteries, I can't believe I forgot. Got those. What we need are freaking batteries too. Wonderful. Well, good news is we have everything for this. Uh, we just literally need the batteries, and that's it. Batteries. Uh, two of those. The power cells done first. Those actually take the longest, even with these uh, speed modules. And let's grab the, oop, don't have it. Don't need that. Let's grab the welder and grinder. There we go. Put those on the hotbar. Just in case I need to get rid of something. Uh, in fact, what I can get rid of now is that. Put a battery on there for the moment. So, good news is those are almost done. At least the power cells are. Uh, they should be done by now. So it looked like they only needed 40. Okay. Two of those. Uh, you know what? Just get everything I immediately need. Oh, I didn't need a medium cargo container. I needed just a conveyor junction. Conveyor junction. There you are. Let's grab what we need for you. Just pop you down. Weld you up as we go along. So I don't need you anymore. What I need is two of you. Bam. And... There we go. Welding up as I go along so I don't miss anything. Kidding me? One steel tube. One small steel tube. Dude, there we go. So we need the cockpit. Got 
that. We need gyros and thrusters. So, grab everything we need for the cockpit. Cannot withdraw five small steel tubes. Okay. There we go. All components are withdrawn. Number nine. Are you kidding me? There we go. This thing didn't need small steel tubes. It lied. It lied to me. Okay, so there's that. What we'll do is go ahead and grab the welders. And the reason why this is called the better ship welders because I, of course, have the better welders mod on. So... Got that. Need one large steel tube, or small steel tube. Well, seven really. Five, six, seven. Here we go. Weld everything up. Go ahead and grab everything for the grinders as well. So six, doot, doot, two of those. Just pop the materials in the cockpit. And there we go. So now what we can do is of course get that and that out of there. Let's grab the large atmospherics. Batteries. The gyros. And there we go. So what we're going to need is of course two of these. Alright, we're gonna need the medium cargo container as well. Get everything we need for that. Pop it there. And again, weld up as we go along. This build planner is so useful. Freaking love this thing. So we're going to need the batteries. Just pop those there and there. Uh, we'll get those last, but just deposit all the components into there for now. Uh, let's grab... Arrows, uh, grab thrusters. So what we're going to want to do is grab the two of these we need. So there's that one and that one. Yeah, just weld up all these thrusters and whatnot. So we had everything for it, which was awesome. And let's just continue building this thing. So there's that. We will, of course, need small thrusters as well. So let's see here. Small grid. Can I draw one metal grid and ten motors? Okay, well, for now, let's actually just completely break all of these back down so we know exactly what we need. So we're going to need three, six, actually two more large atmospherics are what we'll need. We'll need stuff for the... Ah, damn. So we needed metal grids for that, which we didn't have. Assemble all, so that'll do that. We're going to need stuff for the welders. 
well, no, gyros, thrusters, and whatnot. We'll put the listing thrusters on the top and bottom of this uh, conveyor here. The propeller thrusters on the back of this. Uh, downwards thrust on the back of the battery. Braking thrusters on the top of the batteries. So, yeah, I've got pretty much this whole plan here. Uh, but thrusters literally just require steel plate. So what I'm actually going to do is use this to be able to keep myself aloft. So get those, get the small grid thrusters on the... Actually, just start with the listing. Ground them away. Yeah, what I'll do is just use these large ones. So that's that side, and now we need one for the other side. And there we go. So that'll be the listing thrusters done and whatnot. So now what we need is uh, actually not that intense downward thrust. So what we'll do is just pop, like, a few of those just on there. Or no, six should be enough for the back. There we go. Almost. Bam, bam. Eh, you know what, I'll go four just to keep it symmetrical. So we're going to need... Three, no, one, two, three, four large atmospherics. So for the moment, let's get those all set up. One, two, three, four. Going to need eight small thrusters. So thrusters, small, one, two, three, four. Let's just, you know what, let's just queue up the large ones at the moment and make sure these are the small grids. Large atmospherics, small grids, 90 motors, uh, yep, good. Okay, so that was all disassembled. Let's go ahead and just disassemble these as well and get iron back. So that's always good, having materials to make stuff and being able to make everything you need. So there's all that. Uh, we need stuff for gyros. But for the moment, let's just wait for this to disassemble everything. And then what we'll do is come back once we have the materials. Alright guys, I am back. So, as y'all can see, I have kind of decided to actually renovate this thing a little. So, put the batteries on the top and bottom. Um, so I have space for a connector, which is what I need. Uh, I'm just making two conveyor junctions, which will be here and just behind. So I can have enough space for the thrusters, the listing thrusters rather. What? Hmm. Let's grab stuff for those. Just attach them there and there. Deposit the components in there. Oh, good lord. Okay, well, let's go ahead and just weld this guy up. So what we're going to need are how many of those? Two construction components to build. 
build conveyor junctions. Build a small grid. 15 interior motors and 5 plates. Kidding me? At least that queues up the rest of what I need. In this case, actually, isn't anything. Anything else. But for the moment, let's go ahead and weld up all this stuff. So the piston thrusters, the power thrusters, or rather brake thrusters. We really don't need that strong of a propeller. So what we can also do is place some small grid thrusters on the bottom and top of the conveyor junctions. So looks like what we're going to need Let's uh, queue. Now let's get everything for a small grid conveyor. All components are drawn. Good. Good, good, good. Need steel plate components. All the components were not withdrawn. Yeah. Let's just do that again. There we go. And weld this guy up. And what we'll do is grab some stuff for some more thrusters, which we have all the stuff for. So small grid atmospherics. So eight of those. Downward thrust, two, three. Uh, you know what, let's make it look cool. You know what, three, four, five, six. So just six there. And then uh, these are just the propellers. Two, three. Four, five, six. Nope, that's one off. There we go. This build planner is amazing. I love this. Can't stress that enough. So we got enough for that. That three, four, five, six. So good. We have enough for those. Uh, in fact, I don't want this to burn the floor. So, uh, what I'll do is actually just get rid of these up here. Then place those there. Weld them back up. There we go. That's neat. That's pretty good. So we're going to need what looks like six more thrusters. Oh, it looks like we have enough materials for like maybe one or two more of these. Okay, good. So there's those. And they're symmetrical. Nice. So we got enough for that one. Enough for this one. Aside from one last steel plate. So. Oops. Uh. So. 
So we're gonna need four. So queue up, thrusters, small grid. One, two, three, four. And there we go. We have everything for it, which is awesome. So this will do everything eventually. Just organizing everything here. Getting all the motors in the same spot and whatnot. There we go. So the motors will be done eventually. And then after all this, we can break all that back down into its most basic components. So we're going to need some hydrogen. There we go. And of course, energy for our suit. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, this should be good. Yeah, so what we need now are just the small propeller thrusters, the few braking thrusters we have, two, three, four. Okay, so seem to have enough for all of them, which is good. So there's that guy. And then all the rest of these. And there we go. Now the batteries need to be welded up. Go ahead and just weld them all up. The thrusters immediately power on. And we're going to, of course, need the gyros. Which I don't have one, two. Just pop everything in there. Two of those, and that should be absolutely everything just out of the thing. And there we go, so that's almost everything out of the inventory. And then let's go ahead and start breaking all this back down. So that'll do that eventually. Um, and then while we're doing that, let's actually stop that for now and wait for this to all break back down. And now we should have a functioning ship. So let's check the batteries of the miner. The miner batteries. Okay. Fuel low. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fuel's low. I'm just gonna hop in here. Fuel critical. No, it's not. So there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Clear that. And she floats. And let's also break all that back down. Disassemble all, get back the materials. Hop in the ship. And there we go. So she's got pretty good braking thrust, actually. Which is nice. She can keep herself aloft. Uh, maybe... Maybe some more thrusters on the top. Pretty good listing. And she can... Tilt 180 on each side, or 90 degrees. Let's just bring her down a little lower. Make sure not hitting anything or burning anything up. Kind of just have her take a bow. <laughs> 
and yeah, so what we'll do is set up the groups and whatnot. Um, hmm. How much time do you have? 17 minutes? Just idling. Yeah, you got time. So what we're going to need is a whole ton of steel plates to do our base up with. Let's just queue up. Four thousand of them. So that'll do that. Uh, we're going to need stuff for a large connector. Large grid, Pam. Put all of you into production. So that'll do that eventually. You know, let's get all those done last then just get everything else done for the large grid connector. So what we're going to need is a hanger. Uh, we could just go ahead and put it in the basic assembler for the moment. Just attach her onto there. What we'll do is grab a large grid once this is all done. Oh! go she's all done so all components are drawn go ahead and pop that on the assembler weld her up and now she has a docking port which of course is just a connector and there we go so now Just fly on out of there. Oops. No, oh, there we go. V, that's what I meant to push. So she's got intense backward thrust. I gotta keep that in mind. Pretty okay side thrust. I just come in. So the connector. Um lock and there we go she's now locked up to the base so connect her in white so the welder ship thrusters toot, toot. go ahead and just grab all of these put them in a group Thrusters welder, save, do that, and she should be good to go. Yeah, the gyros, put those in a group. Gyros welder, she'll walk on terminal off, welders welder. The cargo container. And this and this could be Shobok on terminal off, get batteries in their own group. Batteries of the welding ship, and there we go. So we can now do this batteries of the welder, uh, recharge on off. Thrusters, where are they? Thrusters, welder. I'll go block on off. The welders are, of course, a tool, so let's put those on number nine. And we have control of them, so we can toggle them on and off. Uh, groups, gyros, we don't really need the gyros. And there we go, her batteries are now charging up. Ooh. Eee, yikes, that's really close to the ground. Mm, yeah, we're gonna need that hanger soon. <laughs> so there's all that, all the steel plates just flowing into there. 
Go with the current ship. Hide empty. And let's actually pop the character welder back into the grinder. Like that. That's gotta just scrape against the bottom of the thing. Actually, I'll see if it does. What in the world? Oh, whoops. Thrusters. Hmm. Uh, yeah, looks like it just misses the top of the grass. Okay. So there's all that. I'll grab just a thousand of them. Uh, 50 more? 60, so 14. So have all of this, just deposit all of that into the welder. Hop in here. Oh, uh, you know what? We might need to do those manually. Only got a couple seconds, actually. Okay, good, I'm not moving. There we go, better welders. So those actually have a much wider range, which I like. So let's just sit here. So they got a range about six blocks. So I guess I don't need to do those manually. go. So this is all being welded up and whatnot, a nice big blue platform. Let's go ahead and weld this up just before we run out of power. Looks like we might. Oh yeah, we've only got a couple seconds left. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ooh, okay. Wow. What a save. Nice. So this whole front bit is all welded up, which is nice. And what we might need to do is weld up all of these here. Oh, we can just get onto this. Nice. So, let's actually go ahead and just see about welding that up manually. Oh, those are for the grinders if we ever need them. Go ahead and do that. Um, actually can't do that. Some reason these are just stuck in this connector here. You can weld up like two of them. And we of course have a lot more in production, which is nice. Oh yeah, we've totally got enough to do the rest of this. Better tools would be so useful. I mean, these tools are pretty good as is. And there we go. So now, all I need to do is just shove those in the connector. And, yeah, so... This video actually is a little long. But, anyways guys, my name is Craftman780, and I bid you all farewell.
Thanks so much for watching.